Stan, do you have stuff on how to respond to critiques? Yeah, I have several things on my list. Um, the first one is keep in mind that you don't have to accept every advice that's given to you. Um, every critique that's that everybody says, some of it might be contradicting, some of it might just be bad, it might be subjective. And just because someone does, disagrees with the way you're doing something, it, it's not in their opinion what they like, uh, doesn't mean you should change to be that way. And you should learn how to identify those types of things. And I think that, you know, one of the reasons that we learn to give good critiques is because we are able to better identify what a good critique is when it's given to us. I think so. Basically, you know, have an open mind. Consider everyone's advice that they're giving you because, I mean, they're taking their time to try to help you, hopefully. Um, but you don't have to accept everyone's advice. Have an open mind, but be honest with if this advice serves you or not. Uh, yes, that is putting on the student the responsibility to discern. Is this useful? Right. I've seen both extremes where you can't teach the student anything because anything you give them they're going to say is not, not useful. Sometimes those students succeed really, really wildly. The most successful, financially successful student I ever had, somebody I never taught a thing to. <laughs> His vision was just so strong that anything you said made no difference and that was part of his part of his thing. Well, but that doesn't mean that they're a good part of a community though. That's right. Oh yeah, not a team player. We're talking about being part of the, a community here. That's right. And helping each other out. If you've got such a strong vision that you, you, you don't hear any feedback from someone whose job is to give you feedback, then that is even more of an example of you taking responsibility. I didn't listen to anybody and I made more money. Uh, but if you're not in that position where you are that willing to bet on your own confidence that I know what I need to know and I don't need anything from that person who claims to be an authority, then great, more power to you if you succeed. But if you don't succeed, it may be that you just couldn't be taught. Yeah. So, okay. So, you don't have to accept every critique, but... <laughs> As you pointed out, as you pointed out, this is, if you take this too far, it could be it could be bad if you're trying to be part of a community and you're trying to actually learn from others. Yeah. Appreciate the the feedback people are giving you. They're trying to help you, so be appreciative. At least respect the person giving you the critique. Don't argue. It's arguing is not productive. You know, if you disagree, if you feel like it's subjective, just say thank you, move on arguing with them, what is that going to do? It's just, you're just going to now have someone that doesn't like you in the community. Or other people who maybe didn't realize, don't realize that this person's critique was subjective might see that you started arguing with someone who's trying to help you and they're not going to give you a critique next time. Right. You know? Someone who might have given you objective advice later on might not give it to you because they see that you're arguing with people who are trying to help you. So, it's not productive to argue with people who are trying to help you even if they didn't end up helping you, they're still trying to help you. So, be respectful towards that. The idea with that is there's no need to escalate disagreement. If you don't agree with something, okay, we don't need to then get back in that person and win that fight. Yeah, thank you for your feedback. Right. Yeah. Uh, and then the last one was if, you know, don't post into a learning environment when your only purpose is to get praise. Okay. Right. You know, be open to other people's opinions about your work, even if you're very proud of it. It's good to be proud. You finished it. You, it's your best work. You feel like this is the best you've ever done. You put it up and people will still find something objectively wrong with it. <laughs> and if you're not okay with hearing that, then don't post it in a learning environment because that's what you're going to get. Right. And actually, <laughs> if you don't want to hear it, don't post it anywhere. <laughs> don't show it to anybody. Basically, I guess have thick skin. Be okay with people offering their opinions on things you did that you like. 
Yeah. That's part of being a part of society. Yeah. Okay, the next one's a, uh, it's a little one, has a lot of overlap with all the other stuff we said. Uh, you know, help keep your community friendly and helpful. Um, your ego can get in the way of that. Uh, so, just keep your ego in check. Be, be helpful. Be friendly. Um, be respectful to people who are different from you. That goes without saying, I guess. Um, and then the, the final thing is be open to feedback from various skill levels. So, if, if you get critique from someone then you look at their profile and then you see that, you know, you feel like, oh, I'm better than that guy. Why, why would I listen to him? Like, b still, be polite to that person. Be respectful that this person's trying to help you, even if you feel like you're better than them. They, they might actually have something to offer you. Is you're better than them maybe overall, but not in everything. <laughs> <laughs>